And this woman came face to face with a snake as she was driving home <laughs> from work last week. A snake in her car. Yeah. We've seen snakes dropping from attics, sitting in toilets, wrapped around garbage cans. Yeah, but it's a little different when you're staring one down behind the wheel. And Fox 13's Marissa Lynn joins us now. And it sounds like this woman did the right thing and she didn't just scream and steer the car off the road or anything. Nope. Uh, Mark and Cynthia, Monica Dorsett told me that the snake just popped out of nowhere. It put her in complete panic mode, but she was able to stay clear of traffic. There was no crash, just a close call with a sneaky snake. It was a different kind of distracted driving. I mean, this was like a freak show thing. On another mild winter day here in Florida, Monica Dorsett turned on her AC. And that was a turn off for the other unknown passenger in her car. Here's this snake curling out of this vent right next to my hand. And then I thought, oh my gosh, it is real. And I thought I was gonna just like stop there, but I was surrounded by traffic, so. <laughs> Looked and I didn't see anybody in this mirror, so I just did a turn, right turn over two lanes into a parking lot. Dorset swung open the door and jumped out of her SUV. The red rat snake slithered out, but it wasn't ready to leave her be just yet. His tail was still in here, so I started tapping on it, and then it kind of came, did a U turn and started coming back in, and that's when I totally freaked out and shut the door on it. <laughs> I mean, I'm an animal lover and I would never have killed it on purpose, but it was going back in my car. She called her husband for help. And I'm like, you gotta come now. And he was, you're on speakerphone. I don't care, come get the stinking snake. When he arrived, the snake was still hanging out of Dorset's car, but it was in bad shape. He later euthanized it. It was incredible. I'm like, I can't believe that. I just couldn't believe that a snake was in there, of all things. Yeah, it's like nothing in there. The snake is gone, but Dorset fears it may have left something behind. I just kind of like to know the, you know, if it laid eggs in my car. Keeping the vents closed until, you know, it's 90 out. I have to open them. <laughs> so if you're wondering how the snake got into Monica's car in the first place, the week before her husband cleaned the car from top to bottom, he had the hood open, and that is when she thinks the snake snuck into it. She believes it was in there a week before she turned the AC on, and that was what forced the snake out of its comfort zone, yeah, guys. Probably don't like AC. It's probably true.